Yo guys, so today I will show you how to make this thumbnail. So, first step is to open your... No oh shit, that's saving. You open a new file. Do 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. Those are the thumbnail sizes. So just... 1920 by 1080 and then 72 resolution. Yeah, to other stuff. Then, I'll just be using this render for this video. Because I don't bother making a whole new render. For the background, I'll be using this loading screen from Fortnite itself. Yeah, you can use whatever background you want, but I recommend using loading screens and just stuff from Google. So I'll be making this bigger, first of all, so it matches. Just like this. Alright, so you can see, the background is really bad quality, and it's really noisy. So we'll be going in camera raw to fix that. We're in camera raw, it's in, uh, you can go in basic, and in details. So I'll lower the texture and lower the clarity. Then here in detail, up the noise reduction and then up the sharpening. Just like so. So this is before, this is after. Already way better. Maybe it's a bit too much actually, so I'll do it over. That's a bit better as you can see. When we have this, we need to make the skin match the background with the colors and shadows and lighting and stuff like that. So first of all, I'll be making the colors match. So we have a color balance there, just man. And we'll clipping mask that by holding alt and left clicking between the, the layers. Once that layer, once that layer mask will be uh, like looking at the background, looking at which colors you see. So this is mostly just black and a little bit of orange. We'll making this more orange later on, but so we'll be taking the blues up and the cyan up, not too much on the midtones. Then highlights uh, should be a bit of red and orange because of the windows. Then shadows again, blue and cyan. Turn on the opacity a little bit so it's not con not that dark and stuff like that. Then add a photo filter. We want that to be bluish. Clipping mask it of course again, and then up the blue to whatever blue you like. Just like so. All right. Now, after you've made it look a bit more like the background, we need to make the lighting and shadows match the background. So, here we'll add an exposure layer, clip a mask, and uh, turn a bit darker. This is, should be dark enough. Wait. Just like so. Then press Control I on your keyboard so it's inverted the layer mask. Then just paint it again, completely full on, and then just remove it a bit from the sides, just like so. This is really quick, by the way, because it's a tutorial. You you'll have to take time and stuff on this, so it actually looks good. So as you can see, it matches a bit more. Then second step is, um, as you can see, it's brighter over here and then darker over here on the side. A bit so up take another exposure make this a bit brighter just like so that's way too much to be honest all right like that then take the white brush and then just paint in on the left side and then just remove it again from the right side take another one and make it darker wait let me clipping mask it make it a bit darker and then control i again take the white brush and then same thing over. Just do that. And then just load opacity. So as you can see already here, the lighting is corrected. Alright, so we need to do highlights for of course. Like the windows are orange, so we need some orange rim lights and stuff like that, some highlights. So what I like to do is Add a human saturation layer, flipping mask that as well, and then press colorize. After you've done that, try to select, make the color look right with these sliders. So about like this, make it a bit light. Press Control I again and take your white brush. What I see a lot of people doing is just doing this and calling it highlights. That's not how you should do it. This looks really bad. So what you should do is once you're taking the white brush. You go very detailed like this and then make it the brush a bit harder. Just like so. 
I'm deleting again. Make it a bit dark actually to make it a bit more orange looking. Just like so. I won't be taking too like when you make this you need to take a long time making eyes. I know it's annoying for the time it takes, but trust me, it makes your thumbnails look twenty times better. But I'ma just do it really fast since this is just a tutorial how I how I do it. There we go. That's like from here. And then you also just need to do the other places. So let me just do this real quick, sped up. Oh, uh, and another thing, when you you can also use like the rim lights you added in Blender to um, kind of get a reference where you need to do the lights. And um, here, when you add the like when you make the highlights like this, you take a black brush and then smoothing out like blending it out kind of like this just so it looks realistic oh and another thing if you wanted to like if you want to go detailed into it and take a lot of time for example like these big chunks here you color in the side where it needs to be lighting and then just take a black brush and just try to remove some of it. So let me just do that in like a lot of them. Just like so. Just painting it in and then deleting some of it. I know it might seem dumb, but it's it that's how the process goes. Uh, now onto the second part is adding some, what's it called, some smoothing highlights to be like blending in the colors together. So make another layer, clipping mask that, add it to linear dodge add. Take the same color as the, like, as the windows, I already picked the color. Then, uh, make it not as big, but just like this. Just smooth it out, kind of. Just like that, it didn't turn down the fill. As you can see, it's like smooth and out the highlight. I'm gonna change the color a bit to orange. Just like that. So this is before and after, as of now. Not done yet though. So another thing I like to do is change the eye color. I just don't like the original eye colors of the character. So what I do, add another human saturation layer. Then clipping mask it and then find a color you like. Personally, for this skin, I would like to do like this kind of red. So like I'll uh, control I and then just paint in. This is really simple. It doesn't really take time. So I would recommend you just do it really quickly to get some better results. And uh, after you filled in the eye, just take a black brush and just remove it from the sides like this. It's going to look better, trust me. Alright, so maybe there we go. Like, that looks pretty good. And then maybe a darker color. As you can see, it looks way better. Alright, now kinda let's do some changes for the background because it looks kinda too simple right now. So, first step is to make a new layer uh, over everything. Press linear dodge add. And then just take a pretty, it depends on the, how big. The windows are for example here it's not not too big so that should be fine here it needs to be a bit bigger i would say actually no it's further away kind of i don't know just play around with it this is a really small window so like that this needs to be kind of more of an orange this is too red just like so and then turn down the fill so it isn't as much just like so as you can see looks way better then you can add a bit more to the windows itself <sighs> and then let's try to make it a haze look hazy look so add a hue and saturation layer colorize and then try a little find like for example the sky here try to fi find the color of the sky so about a bit more bluish just like so press ctrl i and then take the flow down to about 40 percent just like so doesn't really matter just close it down 
and just paint it in like this to make it look casey, you know? And turn down the fill again. Now make another one, change situation, and then uh, press colorize. And then do the same for like the window, so uh, an orangey kind of color. And opening up the. Opening up, not opening. And then just paint in where the windows are. Just like so. And turning down the film. Now, let's make some v knit kind of. So, take an exposure. And then make it a dark. Press Ctrl I. And then take your white brush. Wait, let me up the floor again. Remember to do that. Then fill it completely. After that, take a black brush. And then put your... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. You can switch your colors of your brush by pressing X on your keyboard. Then take the black brush and just start clicking like that. So it should be a bit dark on the corners and stuff like that. So then turn down the fill so it isn't too dark. Do it until you like it. Hmm. It's looking pretty, pretty good so far. But now we'll do another one. Like overlay. And then press... Uh, a white color and just paint in where the windows are like this and then turn down the fill just like so and make another overlay no yeah another layer and then put it to overlay then make the top white make the bottom dark just like so and then turn down the fill just so it matches more just like the style you know hmm, and then Let's do some like color lookups now. Now we've done like the layout of the thing. Now it's time to do some CCs and stuff. So press here, then press color lookup. Go and try to find one that you like. So I kind of like this one. Then I'll try to lower the opacity until my liking. That looks fine. Then I'll find another one so you can stack them up with each other. Hmm. Kind of like this one. Alright, I turn your opacity down for that, and these make it look a bit better. So now I'm, I'll do camera roll. So you just how I do do it. I press this one, and then press the uh, whole shift, and press the bottom one. Then I press Control G, and then Control Shift Alt E. That makes a new duplicate of it. Then I right click, and then convert to smart object. Converting to smart object when doing camera roll is a really good idea because then you'll be able to do changes and stuff like that. Now, how we're going to camera roll is just easy control shift and then A. And then I'll load into it. It's just a quick way. And a mistake I see a lot of people making when making thumbnails is only using the basic uh, settings on camera roll. But I'll recommend you to do it, uh, all of them and just playing around. So I'll show you that in this video. So temperature that's a bit bluish and greenish kind of actually pink looks better in my opinion so up the exposure no actually don't up the exposure for this one maybe a bit of contrast and then turn down the highlights turn up the shadows turn down the whites up up the blacks a bit now text the takes the, the texture a bit up but take the clarity the clarity a bit down so you gotta think about this thumbnail needs to click and view so you need to up the vibrance just up to a bit to make it look more colory and vibrant dehaze play around with it until you find it look good just plus fall i'm playing around with the curves i'll take the highlights a bit up and then the light dark's a bit up and then the shadows down actually i don't know just play around with it then details up the noise reduction a lot this helps a lot with the bad quality and stuff like that as i told you before and up the sharpening like a lot after that go to color mixer and these help a lot if you just play around with them not at all you really need to use these so for the reds i need to make them a bit more orangey and for the orange i need to, to make them about the this color again for the windows and the others can also be this color greens i like them more this way Aquas can kind of just stick the same blues, purpley, purples can be kind of the same. Magenta, this color will look the best to match. Alright, 
now for split toning this is also this is pretty simple to learn like you have two colors and for this background it would be pretty simple to use blue and orange as it's the main theme of this so blue and then this kind of ready orange and I just just play around with this slider until you like it and also the saturation of these I personally like it a bit more red all right now I just this is personal preference I like to use the oh, like a lot of vignette so I just play around with that so now that you got this it looks way better than before but it's not done yet press ctrl j so you make a duplicate and go to camera roll again now we'll be using the like pre-made settings for this and what i like for this thumbnail i like matte so i'll be using that then i'll just be turning down the opacity to my liking just like the color look up so around 20 looks decent and as I just noticed, like the the blue is too saturated here, so I'll just quickly take a human saturation node, desaturate it a bit, and here, just paint it here. Should look decent. Quickly desaturate it. Not too much though. So like that, and then lower the opacity. Helped a lot. Then. I'll just make another layer, press linear that jet and making the glow a bit better after the last settings from the window. So just like that, that and then and making it a bit more like this color. Press OK and turn down the fill to your liking. So I like this. This is after the last setting, this is after. You really need to start using like camera raw if you don't already but yeah this was a really rushed uh, tutorial just to how I go through my my making and yeah just to kind of learn a bit so yeah thanks for watching